Hi y'all, the Admirable Butterfly here, doing a video response uh, to a Step Forward Escapees uh, video called Diagnosing Me. Um, Stepford, I want to let you know how much your video means to me and to many other people because you've hit the nail uh, in regards to the definition of perfection and the issue of perfection because those are the same issues I've been struggling with all my life. If I'm not perfect or if I don't do things perfectly, I'm going to fail. That's basically it and, it, and it goes to, you know, it, it applies to everything. It applies to your body, it applies to your looks, it applies to your features, it applies to anything you do in your life. And, and I think that <clears throat> part of perfection somehow is, is built in subconsciously to what I've been raised with as a witness and how certain things are to the point where I've been afraid to do the things I love and that I think I would have been really good at. Um, one example, <laughs> I love singing. And if you have seen my last video, or if those of you who haven't seen, please do. Constructive criticism is always good. Um, I'll do that on another topic. But I had a very hard time. I did over 25 takes, 20, 25 takes, because I thought the first, <laughs> uh, the you know, I think it was 20 or 18, I forgot. But it, it took me so many tries because I was just so hard on myself. I didn't like the way I sounded. I didn't like the way, you know, pitches, you know. So, I, <clears throat> I mean, I even still have a part of me that sounds like, that I think part of me is like, I think I sound like shit. I should sound a lot better, you know. I still have that... Um, that self-esteem issue, you know, and, and also, you know, the fear of rejection, which you've also pointed out when you read the definition of perfection, perfectionism, it, that fear of rejection is just so real that it, it brings, it brings me to my knees and it brings me to tears sometimes where I think I'm not good enough and, and the, the rejection and, and, and I wouldn't want to say, you know, there's one thing to be, be have somebody critique your work, but it's another thing where you, you have that nagging voice in your head that you're not good enough, that this is just shit, you know. I, I completely understand that, um, but I, I want to tell you that, you know, it, it is an awesome uh, video that you point out, and I know it must have taken a lot of bravery to, because it, it, it's a lot, you know, to admit that, you're not happy with who you are, and I don't think anybody ever really is. I mean, I don't care what anybody really says. I mean, there's always a part in, with somebody that doesn't like a certain part of themselves. And I think that's across the board, no matter what race, creed, where you come from. It doesn't really matter. Nobody, there's always a part in oneself that you don't like at all. You know? So... I could go on a list, on and on a list of, you know, of things I don't like about myself, you know. So, and despite to the contrary of what people say, you know, I, I still have that nagging beast right behind me. And um, that's where I think it kicks into, once you have that issue of perfectionism, that's where it, kick, it drop kicks you right into depression. And it's, it, it's, it's a mess. But... Um, you you're, you bring a lot of good points in in, in that video, and I just want to say it's it's very much appreciated, and that you are a very beautiful woman, and being black, white, or whatever color has nothing to do with who with who you are. That's just what you are. That's your that's your outer shell. It has nothing to do with who you are right in here. You know, you know, we can only control what we look like on the outside only so much. Granted, we wish, you know, we could have a magic wand and do it, of course. Um, but other than that, you know, I think the most important thing that I'm learning is that, you know, it's up here that and in here that needs that that is 
something that one can change truly. Um, everything else is a limit. That's that's something that you cannot help. Um, but um, that's something that I'm. I think I've. And I've learned it, and I'm continuing to learn, and many others. And especially it's important for a woman to actually say that. And I'm not saying guys don't have these issues, um, but uh, women today, especially with Hollywood and the stuff that you see around you, you know, there's this expectation that you have to be movie star perfect. You know, it's, it's just that kind of sense. I mean, maybe it's just me, but it, it's, it's that kind of sense. You know, when you have teenage girls starving themselves to try and fit into size zero jeans, um, huh, I was one of them. Huh. I uh, managed to get down to like 122, and my best friend Jacqueline told me that uh, I was near anorexic. <laughs> so you know, it's it's about it, it was like self punishing myself at that time. But that's a whole nother story. But um, I'll uh, go ahead and end this video. I wanted to just say that your words are power and um, you are very much appreciated in the XJW community and I and many others simply enjoy your videos. You're very insightful and just continue on doing your therapy. I've been continuing doing my own therapy, you know, seeing somebody and embracing what I've always wanted to do ever since I was 14 years old and really wasn't encouraged or really Basically, it's just say I wasn't really encouraged to do. So with that said, till next time.